do you believe in love at first sight? Um, no. <laughs> I believe that you learn to love a person over time and I think that's the best part about it, you know, it's really magical getting to know somebody. So you might really like somebody the first time you meet them, but you can't possibly fall in love with someone that far. What do you do for fun? For fun, I blog, I make videos, I clearly annoy my tripod, um, I watch movies, I hang out with my friends, I go drinking, clubbing, partying, uh, I read a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't know if you can see, I might show you. They are just some of my books. So there's quite a few. Do you want slash have any children? I have no children, I'm 19. Um, I do want kids eventually, but I'd like to be in a stable relationship married first. Uh, question four is, what are you looking for in a relationship? Trust, companionship, um, I want somebody I get along with, somebody that I can care about and somebody that understands my slight weirdness. Just slightly. Question five is, what is the one thing about yourself you would like me to know? Well, for starters, I'm a writer. It's very important to me that whoever I'm with understands I'm a writer and that I do spend a lot of my time working on uh, upcoming projects and things, so yeah. Question six. If you won the lottery, what would you do with your millions? Bend it on my friends, I'd buy a nice house, a nice car. I'd probably start up a business, a publishing house for indie authors. Um, yeah, I'd just probably write more books with it, to be honest. Um, number seven is who is the first crush you ever had and mine is a boy called Michael who I met in infant school and we promised that we'd marry each other um, we now go to university together and he's awesome him and his girlfriend are so sweet but yeah him. Uh, question eight is you've got six months to live what do you do first travel read as many books as I can write as many books as I can um, spend time with my loved ones probably get drunk a lot yeah. are you a morning or a night person i think i'm kind of a morning person because at night you're just kind of drowsy and you spend the whole day being awake whereas if you're in the morning you know the day's full of opportunities there's loads that you could do you've got friends coming over what do you cook spaghetti bolognese if you could travel back in time and change one mistake in your life what would it would you or what mistake what would you change um like carrie said i don't think i think you learn from your mistakes and it's a really important process in your life you know um just sort of moving on with the the decisions you've previously made uh but i suppose i'd i wouldn't say it was a mistake i'd just try and take more risks and do more things i enjoy rather than wasting my time Okay, and the last question, number 12, where do you see yourself in five years time? Do you like my little clock? In five years time, I see I will be, how old will I be? I'll be 25, well, nearly 25. Um, I want to be in a committed relationship, preferably living in a beautiful flat somewhere in Kent. Um, what else? I want a husky called Jeff. I want to own goldfish, I want to have written dozens more books that are far more successful and that people like. I want support and love from my friends and family. I think that's all you can ask for from life really, to be honest. So, I've done my dating profile, I'm going to go because my tripod's driving me insane. Uh, comment below or do a video response and tag me in it. Um, I tag the world, tell me what you'd say in a dating profile it's actually weirdly fun so yeah i'm gonna go like comment subscribe and all that jazz and i will see you later bye